okay guys I guess I'll take you on this ride with me I hope that's not too loud hope they don't flag me I'm not even gonna play no music so I'm gonna just go ahead and take y'all on this journey with me to Whole Foods I might as well I'm telling y'all everything that I'm about to buy I might as well take y'all with me We're not going to be out here long. No weapon for against me shall prosper the blood of Jesus, Father God, Holy Spirit. I pray, that, I pray that I make it to this store and back home safe and sound in Jesus' name. I pray, amen. So, the way I have to come out of my house is either I'm going to run into some people or some cars. So, that's why I have to blow my horn because people just be jumping out there. They be on bikes, on feet, on scooters. They be on all types of stuff. It feels good out here, y'all. It's 55 degrees here in Chicago. Feels good. It's clear skies. Everybody seems calm, which is a good thing. Probably because it's Sunday. <laughs> Probably because it's Sunday. The weekend is basically over. Party time over. Time to get back to business. Get that Sunday dinner going. What am I? Y'all wanna know what I'm cooking for Sunday dinner? I am cooking some lamb chops. I'm gonna cook a rack of lamb. I'm gonna cut them up. I'm gonna cook a rack of lamb with um, sweet potatoes. I'm gonna do baked sweet potatoes, so the whole baked potato with either some broccoli, Brussels sprouts, or asparagus. I'm not sure. We're just gonna see who wins. It may be two vegetables because I can't really eat Brussels sprouts even though I love them. I can't eat Brussels sprouts again because of my blood type. It doesn't work. It works against my thyroid. So, I don't eat Brussels sprouts or cabbage. I love cabbage. So, my favorite thing to eat now is spinach, kale, and broccoli. I eat broccoli all day, every day. Did someone really just throw some sunflower seed shells out there? And the store is not that far from my house. I'm about to literally pull into the... Let me show you. Nope. I am literally about to pull into the garage. My daughter, she really loved this part because you go down and then you go in. She'd be like, wee! She'd be so happy, y'all. She'd be so, so happy. Um, yeah. I really like going to this other Whole Foods. It's bigger. But this one is cool. It's convenient. It's not that far. I don't have to go that far. So, oh. it's cool. I should be in and out of here because I know exactly what I want. And also, I don't have a whole lot to spend. You feel me? When you when you don't have a whole lot to spend, baby, it's dark, right? Sorry, guys. That was my son calling for some donuts. He either wants some donuts, some cookies. He always wants something, but he don't want to go to the store with me. Like, who does that? Where they do that at? See how fast I got here? So fast. He always wants something. So, I gotta get my headphones. Don't talk about my headphones. Yes, I still got core headphones. And I also have AirPods, okay? I left my AirPods in a car last night, so they have to charge. So, till then, I have to use my cord headphones or people gonna be looking at me like I'm crazy. Even though I don't really be caring, but, you know. If you can keep the attention down, that's cool too. This is some Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Sorry guys. If you want to manifest some good clean hands, get you some of this. Sorry. This hand sanitizer smells so good. It smells so good. I put it on my hands and I put it on my steel wheel. But I'll see you in the store. The best part about Whole Foods it's the smell. I love the way it smells in this store. Oh my God, it is the best smell ever. It just smells so free, so healthy, so refreshing. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I just love the scenery. The scenery is so beautiful. You just walk into healthiness. You just walk into healthiness. So now I have to give me a shopping cart. I usually would get like one of those little bitty shopping carts, 
But I'm gonna get this big one. Oh wait, I gotta get some. Oh, they don't have no wipes, but okay. Get this thick ones. Sit my purse right there. Oh. Drive out here and let's get my green onions. I have to get green onions first. Green onions, green onions. Green onion, rosemary, kale, red onion, strawberry. Pizza for my kids. I usually get two, so I'm gonna grab another one. Get this flavor. This is the cereal that I will be eating. So I'm gonna try this cereal and this cereal. Grab some almonds. I'll grab this almond milk. Oh, grab these eggs. I'm gonna grab this. This juice is the best juice on the market. I'm telling y'all, if you're feeling sick or your kids are sick, this is the best juice. I'm gonna grab two because my kids love, love, love this immune juice. Now I have to make sure I have room for water. I have to make sure I have room for water. Oh, I gotta get my salad dressing. One second, I got, I almost forgot the most important thing my salad dressing and the grand finale goes to the water i'm gonna see if i can get about four cases of this also water grab these big boys okay the way this car is looking i think we are about done i just have to go and get my son donuts even though i don't even know where those are at and then we're done so i am finally complete I am finally complete. I believe I have everything that I need. So now I'm gonna go home and cook this dinner, put this dinner on, eat me some salad because I'm hungry. <laughs> Even though, oh, I forgot something. Oh my God, I have to go get this. I forgot the honey. I forgot to give me some honey. Oh, I gotta go back. I really need honey for my breakfast. I don't use syrup. I like honey. Oh my God, I have to go get this honey. Matter of fact, you know what, it's okay. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. Why should I just go back in there? Hmm. I'm gonna just go back in there because I really don't feel like going to Trader Joe's. I mean, I gotta jump in, out the car and all that. I don't have time for that. So, I'm just gonna go back inside. I'm gonna put this stuff in the car and I'm going back uh, inside. All right, gotta get some honey. Got my honey, baby. I came back for you, Pooh. Miss Amber came back for you because I need you. I need you for my toast. I need you for my pancakes. I need you for my eggs, my bacon. Girl, I need you. Okay, guys, I'm back in my vehicle. It was a success. Everybody was nice. Customer service was great. And now I am about to go home. Turn this heat off. Open these windows because it's hot. But on a positive note, I hope you guys' day is going well. It's, I hope your day is going great. I hope you are experiencing nothing but the best experiences, the best environment, customer service. If you run into someone that want to give you a hard time, remember that it has nothing to do with you and all to do with them. Nothing to do with you and all to do with them. And you'll be good to go. I feel like walking to the beach. <laughs> I know it's cold outside, but I feel like walking to the beach. I just feel like walking. I just feel like being out and about. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 
it's a beautiful day but um yes that was really refreshing even though i had to i had my mask on i usually don't even have my mask on that much but yesterday when i was out making runs and doing everything that i needed to do i heard a lot of coughing i heard a lot of coughing and i'm really big on signs so god god always give us a sign like when i forget to pray when i leave the house and i forget to pray something like weird to happen in the streets like some like i'll hear like somebody hitting they like scratching their brakes or i hear like somebody yell or honk they horn like a little commotion and then it, it reminds me like you forgot to pray so i instantly pray like yep you're right and then with like situations like dang what was i saying <laughs> i said that to say god give us signs he gives us signs on what we need to do oh my god i love when fall comes and the trees turn colors it looks so pretty, it looks so pretty. but no god gives us gives us signs and we have to listen to those signs we have to pay attention to those signs and i forgot the reason why i even brought that up <laughs> i think this head is too tight it's something sun shining excuse me i know i'm just all over the place but i really 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 wanted to say something regarding signs uh, it'll come back to me i hope i'm not the only one deal with that experience that where it's something i want to say that i forget i know i'm not the only one that experienced that it'll come to me because it's very important but anywho my day is well my day is excellent and i'm gonna leave this here because i can't remember what i was gonna say well i'm just gonna leave it like this god give us signs so make sure you pay attention to those signs um it could be to remember to pray to remember to be grateful to remember to say thank you to remember um the people who was there for you from the beginning and who are still there for you now to remember all the things that God has put before you so he gives us signs to remember and with that being said I'm tired I'm tired and I'm tired and I'm about to call my son to come downstairs and get these bags till then I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm back, you guys. I know what it was. I'm going to remember what I wanted to tell you guys. So God gave me signs. And the sign that I wanted to give you, to tell you about was yesterday when I was out and about making my runs. It was a lady. She just kept coughing, kept coughing. I just kept hearing coughing everywhere. And uh, that was just God telling me, look, it is flu season. Where's your mask? So I'm, I'm like, you know what? You're right. I started looking in my purse, digging in my purse, look for my mask. I started panicking because I couldn't find it. I know I put it in my purse. So I kept looking and she kept coughing. I was like, oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> so I just kept looking. I just thought, I, I, didn't, I didn't panic. I just was like, okay, I know it's in this purse somewhere. I kept looking. I found it, put that mask on, and I was so happy. Yes, that was a sign. God was nudging me like, where's your mask? Where's your protection? Flu season is here. Even though she had a mask on and she was coughing, it was this like consistent coughing. And I know if she coughing, it's going to be some, it's going to be a couple more people behind her that's going to be coughing. And I'm just going to be open and vulnerable. I don't have time for that. I can't bring anything home to my kids. That's what I wanted to tell you guys. Until then, see you in the next one.